Okay, today I wanted to tell you about an SPFX extension who will be responsible for some search driven navigation, but as it is still from some room on minute, it will also render some security controls. Great control, that is me, but more important is the demo, and the demo should, as said, show some personalized sites, so this is search driven, which is responsible for the personalization out of the box. And additionally, I show something about security controls in the context of the current site. So let's start with a huge site here. And as you can see, on the top of it, we have a command bar which shows us some team sites on the one hand available at my tenant and we have access to some communication sites available in my tenant and where I have access to some upsides, not that much of course. And finally, also some teams which are available in my tenant. Yeah. On the right side, I can see that I'm on the one hand in my current site have external sharing enabled. And additionally, I render a panel to the PIVO where I can see some permission information on the context of the current site. So on this side, here rendered, as you can see on the top in the URL, the site sharing demo, I have lots of permissions adjusted to this current site. In the beginning, the three out of the box groups, but then also some specific permissions. And here, I also implemented the possibility to remove that specific permissions directly. Next, we have some list permissions. And here, I implemented the difference between inheriting permissions from the type level or have unique, so broken inheritance permissions. And I can toggle this now here. We have a unique permission, which I can set back to inheriting, or I can break the inheriting permissions on this list uh, in that way. And last but not least, where I also considered in that case is shared sharing links. Here, yeah, takes a bit longer, and i tell you why in a minute. Um, here, you can see all the shared files on this specific site. And there, we see for each of the documents, the name, um, you can have the permission level here, like write or read. You can even grab out the link, the specific link, and you see which whom external, yeah, this is not my current tenant. Current tenant is Mbella MVP. This one is Mbella. This is another tenant, so an external one. Um, and this is all the information I render for you. And it might look like an accident. And I first tried to polish it, but then I came to the idea to leave it in. And this is that one. Looks like this. And here you can clearly see, of course, the one hand looks like an accident. On this second um, part, and I show you uh, in the following slides how this works, is that it's simply one part is still working here, and the additional part, because I need to render additional information, that's not a single call to get this, um, does not work anymore because I already um, deleted that part. Yeah? And because it is it's a two, um, the, the information that I can see here is a two level thing that you need to query for. The first thing is that inside the SharePoint site, there's a hidden list where you can get, yeah, let me call it, uh, yeah, really poor information about the existence of a sharing link. And if you want to have more rich information, then you need to use that poor information and go via Microsoft Graph and 
get that one. And this is what you can see later in the code and my sample. But at first, this was my demo. What I finally did not or forgot to show, what I can also do, but this is only text search here inside um, the data. Yeah? So I can also, for instance, um, uh, search a bit um, inside the data, which uh, you can see here. Oops, should work. And here. Oops, I love. No, at the moment, doesn't work. Demo God, sorry for this. Ah, there it is. Jumped around. Okay, looks funny here. Yeah? Never seen that before. Anyway, okay, that was my little demo part. Let's flip back to the slides. This is more for the recording, as I created an overview, um, which uh, um, which you are, uh, or which um, API was viewing for that, uh, for what? The search part for the sites, I used both as alternative, as you can see on the first two um, lines here, but I will go to that in detail on the next part. So I think this overview, I, we must not walk through it. This is more for the recording part later on as an overview on all used um, APIs. So let's quickly jump into the SharePoint, SharePoint search part. So how do we get all this kind of team sites, um, uh, uh, communication sites, hub sites, and so on and so forth? Not the teams, by the way. That's different. So the first thing, what we need is, of course, the query text. And here, um, we group that query text on the one end. See, we tell SharePoint A we want to have a site. Then we have a, want to have a web template of group, for instance. And that's that's all. Yeah? And, and what you also have to take care for um, when you look uh, on the lower part is um, that we need a site URL on the bottom line. When you compare this with uh, Microsoft Graph, we have a, a shorter query looks at first. Here we only seek for the web template. But in the request body, we also seek for a whole entity type. And if you ever, if you never have done um, search with Microsoft Graph, these entity types go much beyond SharePoint. So entity types can also, also be um, message, user, whatever, uh, um, chat uh, and so on, but not a team, for instance. So you cannot yet search for Microsoft Teams. Yeah. So the Teams part, what you, which what you also have seen in the navigation is simply to get by uh, joint teams or something uh, other URLs, which you can use to get a bunch of teams to put them in the navigation, especially when you want to put them person in a personalized view. The command part, this is uh, the UI control, which you have, might have seen, um, or what we have seen, of course, on top. And this is consisting of two things um, here, which are mainly uh, considered. These are the items. This is what you have seen on the left part. And the far items, yeah, funny name. Um, by the way, uh, this was uh, the thing what you have seen on the right side, so where I put my permission um, panel, uh, got them rendered or rather get it accessible and the rendered items um, which i put here to the uh to the items part so to, to the left part this is what i do in the method uh, where i evaluate all my 
sites or team sites, comm sites, and so on in the past, put uh, many search request controls. So this is in a nutshell how the whole thing on the left side gets rendered. The SharePoint site permissions consist of three parts. Here we first need to um, hold, uh, get our role, role assignments. Yeah. This is when you have all permissions. Then you have seen in the demo that I was not allowing to remove standard or associated uh, standard groups. And this is how I can uh, get with this specific um, API that I get associated owner group, member group, visitors group to not allow those three uh, things to be manipulated with my controls. And last not least, when I want to manipulate or remove something, I can do it here. Yeah. And pay attention on the one end of gay, the gay, the, um, the request URL looks pretty obvious, but interesting when you delete something here, it's first a post request, and then an XATDP method called delete. This is one need to consider. Last not least, external um, sharing links. First thing I already explain you. Um, the first thing what uh, needs to be done here is to get a hidden list called sharing links. If this exists in a second call, so if the re response is okay, then in a the second call, get the items. And finally, if I get some items, I will also eval those sharing links in a graph service. This means enrich them with data like um, what you were missing in this one example, which looks a bit ugly or a bit rubbish with the GUID in it. And last not least, the block how to delete such a sharing link. It's, it is uh, done once again with the graph call. Here, I directly come over the site ID through the drive, through an item document ID, and then the sharing ID, this is all that I got from the list um, above, and then I can kick that permission off. That's all from my side. Um, some resources, as always, yeah, I brought a blog series on how to achieve, achieve this, and the whole sample also already available since a while in the SPFX and the FP, SP Dev FX extensions sample from the PMP repository. That's it. Thank you.